Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, medical doctor. Welcome to another video. Three questions to ask before starting a statin medication. Statins, of course, are one of the most widely prescribed drugs out there. Millions of people are on them. And when you actually look at the evidence, when you actually follow the science, it's very obvious that the benefits are often vastly overstated. Yes, they may fix a number, but what exactly does that mean? And the sad truth is that evidence-based medicine has really become something of a joke. It is really more about following the money trail most of the time. I don't think most doctors even realize that they're being completely played. But let's not take blame away from the medical profession. Doctors are supposed to be intelligent people. They are supposed to exhibit a sense of intellectual curiosity, to ask questions when something doesn't seem right, to raise their voice. And we saw that sadly lacking during the last few years of the pandemic. What an eye-opener. Nod, nod, wink, wink. We saw that with a lot of things, the total inability to display intellectual curiosity. Because when it comes to statin medications, they are a band-aid over a bigger problem. They don't fix the upstream problem of oxidative stress, inflammation, and de novo lipogenesis, the crucial process which underlies so much of the disease physical and mental that we're seeing in society today. Again, something most doctors haven't heard of, de novo lipogenesis. And anybody who wants to, well, for most people out there, cholesterol, especially the bad cholesterol, can be naturally reversed quite quickly by taking appropriate lifestyle steps if there is a desire to do so. Again, I repeat, a statin medication may fix the number, but it won't solve the upstream problem. So here are three questions then to ask your doctor before starting a statin medication if we really want to be true to science. Number one, how will this really help somebody in my particular demographic? Again, we are really following the evidence here because this is often data from the actual pharmaceutical company. What could be more following the science than that? Because when you actually dive into the data, you will find that the benefits are nowhere near what you might expect. In, in fact, your doctor may tell you that hundreds of people in your demographic may need to take a statin to prevent one heart attack or one stroke. That doesn't sound anywhere nearly as impressive. Imagine hundreds of people needing to do something to prevent one outcome. And if I was to take this statin religiously for the rest of my life, how much will my life expectancy be increased by? Because you may well find that it's only a matter of days. That's it. When you dive into the data, that doesn't sound anywhere nearly as impressive. How does that compare to cutting the amount of bread you eat or cutting the amount of sugar you eat in half? You may find that that will increase your life expectancy and also reduce your chances of having a heart attack by multitudes more than the pill you are about to take. Number two, second question. I understand, doctor, that this will fix my number. It will lower my cholesterol. But will it touch the upstream problem? You will sound very smart when you ask this question, especially if you throw in terms like, will it fix my oxidative stress and mitochondrial dysfunction? Or are we putting a band-aid over a bigger problem? I could draw a few analogies here. I could approach your car with some spray paint and paint it yellow, and then be very excited that it looks yellow. But what does that actually mean? What have I tried to achieve there? And what is the difference going to be? Or another analogy, you could have a hole in the wall caused by an explosion of termites. There's an infestation. And you come along and you put a picture over the hole and you feel very happy that you've covered up the hole. But what's happening behind? The termites are absolutely exploding and it's only a matter of time before they break through again. So I would like you to ask your doctor that and hopefully they're a good doctor and they will explain to you that yes, we are only going to fix the number. This is a temporary band-aid, but you are way better off working on some natural holistic pillars to reduce your cholesterol and solve your oxidative stress and de novo lipogenesis problem naturally. Number three, third question. Tell me doctor, is there a link between taking a statin medication and cognitive decline? This is something that I've made a video on before and it does concern me. Now, am I saying that everybody out there who takes a statin medication is going to get cognitive decline and dementia? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that from a logical common sense viewpoint, thinking about the fact that the brain is 60% fat, 
it's the most fatty organ in the body. Think about that. Because if you have a doctor, as there are many doctors out there, including cardiologists, who are hyper aggressive about lowering cholesterol through medications, because that's what their physician society that is loaded with conflicts of interest told them to do. If you have a doctor like that, then really think about what is happening. If you are too aggressive, as with anything, too much of anything is a bad thing. And that is why we are increasingly seeing a link between statin use and cognitive decline in studies and research that is being done. So please ask your doctor that question. And if they don't know about it, hopefully they will be stimulated. He or she will actually look this up and ask themselves, am I doing the right thing? Especially in being very aggressive with trying to fix a number. So those are three questions then to ask your doctor before you're prescribed a statin medication. And hopefully you have a doctor who is intellectually curious. I love being asked questions like that. If a doctor gets annoyed or simply wants you out of their room, throwing a pill at you, that's probably not a good doctor for you to have. And my take home messages are, you should always ask questions before taking any medication, not just a statin. Remember that most modern medicines are simply a band-aid over a bigger problem of oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, and ultimately inflammation. And finally, if this is a problem for you, if you have high cholesterol, then in most people, it can be naturally reversed very quickly. You simply have to press the motivation button, but it's well worth doing. So you're actually fixing the root cause issue. We are completely failed by our medical leadership and authorities. They are loaded up with conflicts of interest. They don't really have the true health and well-being of the population at heart. And that is why we are seeing all of the problems we are seeing. They are complete clowns, for want of a better word. And I leave you with this one thought. When you place a clown on the throne, they don't become king. The kingdom becomes the circus. Thanks everyone for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Check out my website, my health programs, and if you're not already signed up, my free newsletter. Those links are in the description down below. Hit the like button if you like this video, and the subscribe button for more similar videos in the future. We will speak again very soon.